Hello, welcome back to another vlog. We are starting this one off right where we left off in the last one. Last time you saw me, it was this morning. I was leaving for work. Okay. Okay, our hydration break is over. So yes, hi, hello. I just got home from work. It's 4.30. I was gonna wait and not start the vlog till tomorrow, but then I came home to some packages and I was excited and I was like, ooh, I gotta start the vlog so we can unbox this stuff. And I'm excited because some of it is clothes and there's just nothing better than getting new clothes that you've been waiting for in the mail. First package, H&M. I only got two things. They were having their Black Friday sale and there were a couple things that I like specifically had been wanting. So the first thing, I really hope this is gonna work. Ooh, yeah, this is nice. So this seems like really stupid. I just wanted a plain, simple, white button up shirt so that I could crop it. And I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. So I got it in a large, and I think this is gonna be like the perfect fit for what I wanted because I wanted it to be kind of loose and then I wanted to crop it pretty short so that it would just kind of fit like a I don't know we'll we'll do that later hopefully my vision can come to life and then I now have I think this is my fourth one of these crew necks this is a men's crew neck and I get them in an extra large so that it's extra loose and comfy and extra long. I love to wear these around the house with no pants. It's long enough. Not that it matters when I live by myself, but it's long enough that it fits me like a dress anyway. So I don't even really need to wear any bottoms with it. And I just love the look of this with some leggings or some bike shorts in the warmer months and like some high socks with sneakers, you know, like that kind of, it's very like Princess Diana post separation era, you know? Princess Diana in the 90s. Like it just doesn't get any better than that. Then the next package I got is my wine subscription. And this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Bright Cellars. <laughs> if you've never heard of them before, they are a wine subscription service. You go on their website, you just answer seven quick, easy questions so they can get an idea of your taste palette, your preferences, and then they pick out some wines that they think you will love based on your responses to the questions and mail it right to your doorstep. And it's so easy and it's really convenient because you don't have to waste time going to the store and picking out the wine yourself. And sometimes it's so hard, you never know what kind of wine you're getting. I always just end up then like buying the same ones over and over and that gets boring. Like it's nice to just switch it up and try new ones. And I remember in the last box I got, I discovered this one wine that was so good. I think it was like my favorite wine that I've ever had ever in my whole life. And the box does come with these cards that correspond. Oh my God, wait, this is the one. I got it again. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so excited. It's, it's so good. But yeah, so you get these cards in the box for each bottle that's in the box and on the back, it tells you the name of the wine, um, the type of wine it is, the year, the best temperature it should be served in, the alcohol percentage, the flavor profile, where it comes from, tons of information. So I got a rosé, another rosé. This one is a light bodied white wine, a Pinot Noir, my favorite, favorite this is a pinot grigio and then this is another light bodied white so let's see because i already know how that one tastes i'm not gonna open that one right now i want to try something new let's do this rosé this is from color fast rosé of pinot noir it has strawberry cranberry rose and orange blossom Cheers. Oh, that's really good. I could tell as soon as I smelled it. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
that's really good and it would it would be even better i think this says yeah you're supposed to have it chilled so i'm gonna stick this in the fridge so if you guys want to try out bright sellers for yourself i will have a link down in the description to get 50 dollars off your first box of six bottles of wine thank you so much bright sellers for sponsoring this vlog i wanted to do my little shirt diy i wanted to crop it because i have this denim jacket from zara and i love how cropped this is and when I wear it buttoned up, I just love the look of it. I just think it looks so cool. So I want it to be exactly like this. Same length and everything. I think I'm just going to hold it up to the jacket. And I'm just going to use that as my guide. I'm hoping it'll be good and go well. I just wanted to try this on first just to make sure that it was going to be an okay fit here's that crew neck by the way i love how huge and frumpy it looks and it's just so soft and cozy and they're so inexpensive they're only 15 dollars, which i feel like for something that's so soft and like such good quality that's not bad at all so i'll put a link in the description get yourself some stock up on them while you can they have so many good colors and so many good like muted neutrals okay Let's do this. So I just literally laid the jacket on top of the shirt and then I'm just gonna cut like right here. There's the final product. This is pretty much what I was picturing. And I tried on some jeans with it so I could get like the full effect. It was just looking weird with sweatpants. Turned out cute. These jeans, by the way, I showed them in my last vlog. These are the Good American Loose 90s jeans. I love them so much. All right, back to the sweats. <laughs> so I really wanna do a face mask. Cause I don't know, that's just always like so relaxing to me. It just puts me in such a good mood. I think I'm just gonna do the Ole Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. This is a longtime favorite that I've repurchased so many times. It just makes your skin feel like so soft and plump. First things first, we need to cleanse. My absolute favorite part Take a washcloth, run it under super hot water, like let your water get as hot as it possibly can, and then wring it out. Oh, it's just the best. I love a hot towel and like hot steam. It's just so relaxing and then I'll just wipe off everything which kind of gives like a light exfoliation too. I just love it. It's one of the highlights of my day, honestly. It's like that first sip of coffee in the morning, my hot washcloth at the end of the day, and then crawling into bed at night. It's what makes life worth living. Okay, now I'm gonna apply the mask. Just rub it in. Till it turns white. I'm telling you, I love this mask so much. I've been using it for years now. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know. So this is gonna sit on for 15 minutes. I always forget if it's 15 minutes or 20. 15 minutes. In the meantime, let's go to the kitchen. So I have this blueberry muffin mix i want to make a little blueberry loaf we're just going to need water vegetable oil and two eggs it's so weird i hate cooking i mean not i don't want to say hate. hate is a strong word but i just it's not my favorite thing like sometimes i enjoy it depending on like the mood i'm in and what i'm making but for the most part 
I don't really like cooking. Like it just kind of stresses me out and overwhelms me, but I love baking and I find baking so relaxing. Anyway, so we have our mix and then it comes with a can of blueberries. We need to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Drain and rinse blueberries in cold water and set aside. And we're gonna lightly grease our baking pan. I'm gonna do olive oil spray. And then we're gonna mix together muffin mix, two eggs, two thirds cup water. and half a cup of vegetable oil. This reminds me actually, when I was in college, I had this roommate one year that was, this is gonna make me sound like a bitch, but she was a moron. <laughs> and I remember she was cooking something or baking or whatever one time. And she was like so confused because I think the recipe called for like two thirds cup of something or whatever it was. And she was like, I don't have a two thirds measuring cup. She was so confused and just didn't know what to do. And I was like, I'm gonna mix this till blended and then gently stir in the blueberries. Oh my God, this smells so good already. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna pour this into our baking pan. My mom would be so proud of me. I finally got some rubber spatulas. <laughs> so I can actually get everything out of the bowl. That was perfect timing. It's time to rinse off this mask. Here's how my skin's looking after the mask. Oh, smells so good. Good morning. Ooh. I have two clients today at the salon. I started taking clients again just on the occasional Saturdays. By the way, if you live anywhere in the like southeast North Carolina area, anywhere near Wilmington and you want to get your hair done by me, I'll have a link in the description to my appointment request form. So I made a Google form and anyone that wants to get an appointment with me, I just have them fill out the form that just basically like gets their contact information and then asks what they wanna get done to their hair. And I require everyone to submit photos of what their hair currently looks like. And then I ask for inspiration photos so that I have an idea of what exactly I'm gonna be working with and like you know is this something that's gonna be possible to achieve is it realistic is it something that I want to do you know so it's helpful because rather than allowing people to just like do online booking and book appointments themselves I can really have like a pre consultation going into it and I already know exactly what to expect. I know how much time I need to block out for myself. And it just, it takes a lot of like the stress out of it. And I, it gives me a lot more control. And then it's nice too, because I have the photos and the forms that I can always reference back to. And then the day of the appointment, I can just kind of like refresh my memory on what we're doing. So these are the photos of my client today. We're gonna be doing a color correction. As you can see, she has old color on the ends and then she has a dark band kind of like in the middle. And the goal is to just try to even her color out as much as possible. So that way she can just kind of let her natural color grow out. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today 
on my second client. And depending on what I'm going to be doing color wise, that's what determines what I end up wearing. Because obviously I know if I'm going to be doing a color correction, they can get kind of messy. Today it's going to be a little tricky because I'm going to be doing bleach and probably darker color and to figure out what I'm going to wear. Okay, I think we're going to do these houndstooth pants. They're super comfy and I got them at the thrift store for less than $10. So if they get some color on them, I won't be that sad about it. And they have a pattern, so like if I do get bleach or something on them, it won't be as noticeable. And then I'm going to wear this crop top from H&M because I already got bleach on the sleeve, which is kind of upsetting. I'm going to try to sharpie it. Hairdresser hack. If you get bleach on your clothes, just use a black sharpie to color it in. <laughs> I mean, I could get like fabric dye also. Obviously, I'm going to be careful, but you just never know when you're doing color corrections. Like sometimes they can really get messy. And even if you are wearing an apron, stuff will still like the apron's not protecting everything it's just the front that's the only thing that sucks like i love doing color and i love color corrections and like big transformations and all that good stuff but they can be messy even if i am trying my best to be neat and clean it's like i want to look cute for work and i want to wear nice stuff and newer stuff but then at the same time it's like you're risking ruining that stuff. It's just part of that colorist life. So I'm doing that color correction on my second client, but my first client of the day, I'm doing makeup. And I was kind of nervous about it because I used to do makeup on clients back in the day, but then I stopped because, I don't know, it was just... I, I wanted to focus more on hair and hair color. And honestly, keeping like a full good makeup kit and making sure like all your products are still good, not expired, not dried out and crusty. It can be expensive if you're not doing it often. Like it's just not worth it to just do like a few clients a year here and there. And it's one of those things that I go through phases with. Like sometimes I really enjoy doing it and then other times I'm just like, meh. But a uh, funny story. So when I interviewed to work at the salon, I was like, oh yeah, you know, like I'm a colorist and I have a lot of experience doing all things in the cosmetology field. I also used to do makeup. I know how to do makeup. And shortly after I got hired, they also hired a new esthetician. She came in for a couple interviews, was offered the job, she took it, and they like established a start date for her. And they already started booking clients with her. And she seemed great. Everybody was excited about her starting. I had met her briefly when she came in for one of her interviews and she seemed really nice. And yeah, she was supposed to start in a few weeks and she just never showed up <laughs> like she just ghosted and the owner tried to reach out to her literally never heard from her saw her again no explanation nothing like she just straight up ghosted and we couldn't find her social media anywhere because like I was curious too I was like oh let me look her up I, I want to see like what the hell like who does that you know like if you change your mind or a different opportunity comes up or something, that's totally fine, you know, like it happens, whatever. But say something at least, you know, like especially if you know that there's already clients on your schedule. But anyway, the makeup client that I have today was originally scheduled with this esthetician that ghosted and the only other two girls that do makeup the owner being one of them both have weddings today and are unavailable so she asked me rather than having to cancel the client altogether and turn her away she asked if I would be willing to do the makeup on her since she knows that I know how to do makeup and 
I said yes, sure, like I, I wanted to be helpful and I didn't even really think about it when I said yes. And then of course afterwards I was like, wait, what am I going to use on her? <laughs> Because the other makeup artists, like, they have their own kit. It's not like the salon keeps makeup, like, at a station there. And I still have my old kit, but A, the makeup in there um, is pretty old. So, especially, like, the foundations and concealers are probably expired, probably old and dried up and gross. But I was like, eh, at least, though, like, I have everything else like I have all my tools my brushes the powders should all be fine brow products stuff like that I can just look through what I have and I can make it work well then I realized um duh idiot when I moved here I was not planning or expecting to be doing makeup on people so I left my kit at my parents house in Pennsylvania when I moved here so I panicked a little bit because I was like oh no I don't really have anything like all I kind of have to use is like my own personal stuff which isn't really a lot like I used to have a pretty big makeup collection but lately I just don't even really wear that much makeup anymore so when I moved here I got rid of a lot of stuff like I really tried to declutter and be more minimal so these past few days i've been kind of stressing because i was like i i don't know what i'm gonna do or what stuff i'm gonna use and like obviously foundation wise unless this client happens to be my exact same skin tone that's not gonna work and i didn't know what this client looked like i tried to look her up on social media and i couldn't find her anywhere and i was like really stressing about it but then Yesterday, the client came in to get her hair done. She got her color done by one of the other stylists there. So I was able to meet her in person, see what she looks like. And it was such a relief because she's the sweetest thing ever. She's super pregnant and she is getting her makeup done for her baby shower today. And she just seemed like so easygoing. Long-winded story, but I just thought the whole thing was funny and I just wanted to share. The owner luckily does have a really big kit and she had some extra products. So she left me some extra foundations and concealers um, and like lashes, lash glue, just like the things that I was missing and like some extra disposable applicators and stuff like that. So I think I should be good. I'll show you because I still have to pack it all up I set aside everything that I need but I need to throw it in a bag to bring with me here's everything I'm bringing with me we have a bunch of brushes a foundation applicator brush this brush for concealer at the salon is a beauty blender for me so I'm planning on using that to actually like blend out everything and then I have a powder brush which I can also use for bronzer blush brush fan brush for highlighter eyebrow brush and then a few eyeshadow brushes eyelash curler mascara which this is a brand new tube I literally just opened it out of the packaging I've never used it on myself so it's nice and clean, hygienic, and I'll be using a mascara, like a disposable mascara wand when I'm applying it on her to keep everything hygienic. Got my pencil sharpener, translucent setting powder. I have this blush palette from Pixie, the bunch of different blush shades, and these are nice to also use as eyeshadows too. And then there's a highlight in the middle. I also have this MAC highlight. This is the Soft and Gentle old school my Lorac Pro contour palette these can also be used as eyeshadows and then I have two eyeshadow palettes and I think she left me one or two at the salon also so I'll have some more options but these are some pretty pinky shades this is the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette then I have the Lorac unzipped this is like one of my favorite palettes of all time so beautiful then I have brown and black eyeliner and then I have this like champagne light nude colored eyeliner that's really good for like the waterline to make the eyes 
look bigger and more open. I have a couple lip liners. She left me some lipsticks and glosses at the salon. I have some of my own that I could use, but the problem is this is my personal stuff that I just apply straight to my lips right out of the packaging. So it's not hygienic to put on another person, you know? And that's why if you're gonna be doing makeup on clients, it's so important to have a separate kit for that with stuff that you're keeping very hygienic and that you're only ever using disposable applicators to apply. Cause especially for things like lip gloss and mascara, like you can't disinfect those things once you've used them. But like powders, um, pencils, you can just sharpen them and spray everything down with alcohol. Brushes, you can obviously clean and disinfect those. Then I have this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which I love. This stuff is really, really good for covering dark circles. And this is nice and hygienic because you just squeeze it right out of the tube. And then I have my Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. And then I had some of these individual lashes. She also left me some strip lashes and lash glue because I had these extras um, and then I realized I didn't have any lash glue to actually apply them with. That's everything that I'm going to be bringing. All right, all ready to go. Here's how the outfit looks on. I'm just wearing some old boots from Zara. I'm gonna go now. I'll try to vlog as much as I can at the salon. Wish me luck that it goes well. So my makeup client ended up going really well. She was really easygoing and just wanted something really natural, nothing too glam. And then onto the good stuff. This was my color correction client. I already showed you guys the photos that she had sent me. But yeah, you can see she had a few inches of new growth. That was her natural virgin hair, which was like a coppery brown, like a natural redhead. And then she had that band of black color and then dark brown on the ends. She had previously bleached her hair, did a pink color, and then put black on top of it, then a blue black, then black again. That was the history. That's what we were working with. So I didn't record this part, but I just did a full foil. I only used 10 volume developer and I just went through and I tapped over that band. I blended it up, went over the ends a little bit. Here I was just letting some parts sit a little bit longer. Once that was done processing, I washed it out, did a rough blow dry just to get her hair damp, and then I used a cream demi-permanent so that it would be a little more forgiving and blend a little bit better than permanent color, but that way it would be a little more opaque and longer lasting than just like a liquid gloss would be. So I did mostly 634, which is like a coppery level 6, a little bit of 535, and some 6N just to like add a little bit of brown in there too. After that was done processing, I rinsed that out and then I topped it off with a gloss. I did Redken Chase EQ equal parts 4WG and 4NB. And then this was the final result. And I have to say, like, I feel pretty damn confident in my color skills, but even still, I was pretty damn proud and impressed with myself. I was a little nervous. I didn't know if I was going to be able to match that copper color up perfectly to her natural color because it can be so tricky to do that. But I think I nailed it. Hi, hello, good afternoon, happy Monday. It's already almost one o'clock and I'm still in my pajamas looking like a hot mess. Work from home life. You know what I'm saying? I got up at 7 this morning, took Benny out for a walk, had my coffee, you know, enjoyed my little morning routine. And then since 8 a.m., I have been working on my computer nonstop. I posted a video this morning, so I had to fill out the description, get all my links and everything. I was just running to emails, and then I edited another vlog, the vlog before this one. Now it's 
a quarter to one and I'm like, okay, I need to step away from the computer for a little bit, come back into reality and I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So I'm going to make myself some brunch. Maybe I'll just do some like runny eggs on toast and then make a green smoothie on the side. That sounds really good. But yeah, my color correction client on Saturday went well and the makeup client went super well. She was so easygoing, so nice. She just wanted something natural, like she showed me some photos and it literally just looked like makeup that I would do on myself, like on just a regular day, you know? Like it wasn't anything over the top, super glam or dramatic. She just wanted like pretty glowy skin, some lashes and like a nude lip. But I'm glad that that is over with now because that is it for me, for clients, for the next few weeks because Next weekend, I don't know if I mentioned this. Next weekend, my mom is flying down here. She's gonna spend a few days with me here, and then we're gonna drive up together, and then I'm gonna spend Christmas up with my family in Pennsylvania. So I'm gonna be busy and not here the next few Saturdays in a row. So that was kind of it for me, like before the holidays, as far as clients. And then this week, I just have a few front desk shifts, and then that's it. It's crazy to me that Christmas is already two weeks away. Uh, actually, kind of a little bit less than two weeks. I'm so excited though. I can't wait to just get a little bit of a break from my normal routine. I feel like my life has been very, very structured the past few months, which has been great, but it is nice to get a little bit of a break from that and just get to like relax, not have any responsibilities, just get to be with my family, eat good food. But anyway, I am gonna make myself some food and then I wanna go to Ulta. I have a coupon, 20% off. So I kinda just wanna go walk around and see if there's anything that looks good, anything that I might wanna stock up on. And then I'm gonna take Benny to the dog park because I haven't taken him in such a long time and I feel so bad. Like I try my best to take him outside on walks as much as possible and just walk him around the apartment complex. But it's just not the same as like him getting to play. And like, I'll play with him. He has a ton of toys, but he just doesn't really, like, I don't know. He doesn't really care for toys unless he's playing with other dogs. My coworker might be meeting me there as well so that he can meet her dog and hopefully they'll become best friends. He's just watching me. He knows I'm talking about him. Like, um, you said play? Did I hear you say play? And park? <gasps> Some of his favorite words. <laughs> Hello, it's a few hours later. Oh, let me turn the other light on. Is that any better? Mm, maybe. So I went to Ulta and then we went to the dog park for a while. I met with my friend. We walked. Like the park that we went to is huge. They have like so much there, including a dog park, but they have a walking trail that loops around the entire park. So we did that loop like three times and then I took him to the dog park and let him play for a while and then it got dark and it was cold. So now we are home. Quick little Ulta haul, which I was looking at my receipt because it was so hectic in there. There were so many people. And then my friend had texted me that she got to the park. So I was trying to kind of like hurry up. I didn't want her to be waiting a super long time for me. And plus I had Benny in the car waiting for me, which he was fine. The windows were cracked. Like it was fine but I just I don't know I felt like I was in there for a long time and once I finally paid I just kind of hurried out of there but I was thinking that the price sounded wrong because you literally could see in those clips the ColourPop stuff said it was buy one get one free and it rang up as buy one get one 50% off and then the highlighter that I got like all there was a sign all the REM beauty stuff was supposed to be 30% off. And then I had a 20% off coupon on top of everything. 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to go back there tomorrow with my receipt. Damn, if I had looked at it and noticed that before I came home, I would have just went back to the store while I was still out, but whatever. I'll just go on my way to work tomorrow. No big deal. I kind of have to pass in that direction anyway, because like I wouldn't have gotten two ColourPop palettes for just half off. Like I thought the second one was going to be free and I was like, oh, well, why not get two then? But yeah, I really don't wear eyeshadow on a regular basis these days, but I do like just like a uh, nude warm colors. And when I was trying to like get my products together to do makeup on that client this past Saturday, I realized I don't really have a lot of like brown toned eyeshadows. And I saw these palettes from ColourPop and they are both just so beautiful and kind of what I was wanting. And they're really inexpensive, so why not? This one, I really love, this is my favorite one. The Feelin' Bubbly palette. Like, look how perfect those shades are. Just nice neutral browns. And I love that it's a combination of mattes and shimmers. And then this one is the Nude Mood palette. Similar, but these shades are a little bit darker. They're honestly very, very similar. <laughs> I was looking at both of them and I wasn't sure which one I liked more over the other But then when I saw the buy one get one free, I was like, oh, let me just get both But I think I prefer this one because it is a little bit lighter. I feel like it's a little bit more Wearable like every day daytime. I love ColourPop. All of their products are great quality really affordable and all of their powders like their eyeshadows their highlights are so pigmented and so buttery and such a nice just such a nice consistency then i got this physician formula butter bronzer which i already have a butter bronzer and it is buttery and wonderful and it smells really good and feels really good on but the shade that i have is on the lighter side and unless it's like the dead of winter and I'm like my palest, it's a little too light for me and it can kind of look a little muddy, especially if I'm tanner, but I really like it. So I just wanted to get it in a darker shade. It smells like coconuts. I love it. And it has like a little bit of a glow to it. So it's not like for contouring. It's just to add like an all over bronze. And I love this. This is like the perfect shade because it's just a little bit darker than my skin tone. So it'll just like kind of warm my face up a little bit without being too intense. And then I was also looking for a new highlight. I wanted to get something that was gonna be more like a glow, like lit from within, glowy, dewy, beautiful, but not super glittery. There you go. So it like just catches the light really beautifully, but it's not super glittery or chunky. It like blends in with my skin tone pretty nicely. So, and I mean, this was just like a thick stripe. I didn't actually blend it out. Once you blend it, you like, it gives that glow, but you can't really see it on my skin. This is the Rem Beauty, which is Ariana Grande's makeup line, which I totally forgot that she came out with makeup. But I was like looking all over the store, swatching a bunch of stuff, saw this, and I was like, oh, that kind of looks. And then I swatched it, and I was like, yup. This is exactly what I was looking for. This is beautiful. It's in the shade Miss Mercury. And it, oh, it says it's a highlighter topper. Interesting. Even on a no makeup day, I could just wear this by itself probably. Actually, let's try that. Oh my God, yes. Just like added a beautiful glow, but you can't really see like distinctly where I put it just blends right into my skin. But when the light catches it, ooh. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, and then lastly, I got this NYX lingerie in the shade Goin' Desnuda. 
uh, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. It's just a really pretty matte brown. So yeah, but I will be going back to Ulta tomorrow to sort out to that price thing because honestly I don't need two palettes that are so similar so if they're not actually supposed to be buy one get one free I'm just gonna end up returning this one and keep the one with the lighter shades in it good morning is it still morning yes it is it's the next day um I have had such a productive morning so far got a bunch of work done and then I was like eh, I kind of need to go grocery shopping did that Stopped at Ulta. So I go into the store and I immediately go and I check the signs first thing because I've worked retail before. I understand how these things work. You might see a sign that says there's a sale, but you gotta read the fine print. Sometimes there's exclusions. Sometimes it's only on specific items or specific shades. <laughs> so I went and I checked the signs. I was like, okay, confirmed. Brem Beauty, it specifically said the highlighter that I got and the specific shade that I got was listed under 30% off. So I was like, okay that was correct then i went over to the color pop stuff it said buy one get one free and it was listed under each individual palette and it said you know of equal or lesser value which these palettes cost the exact same thing each of them had the buy one get one free sticker underneath them so anyway i go explain the situation the girl had to call the manager over i'm explaining it again to her so she goes and she checks the signs which that's fine she seemed kind of annoyed and then she comes back to the register and she's like oh well the rem beauty stuff that's an old sign that we forgot to take down but i'll honor it anyway and i was like okay great thank you so much i appreciate that then with the ColourPop stuff, I was like, so is that stuff, so is that correct? By the way, this buy one get one free sign at the bottom, it says December 11th through December 24th. So you can't even try to tell me that's an old sign or that it's not. She said, oh, I think they just sent us, that's not supposed to be right. I think they might have just sent us the wrong signage or we put out the wrong signage or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. And she did end up honoring everything, although I still, I only ended up getting $5 back, which doesn't sound right. I have to sit and like add it all up and do the math. Either way, like it is what it is at this point. Like I'm not going to go back. I'm sorry, but again, as someone who has worked retail, you're supposed to check those things. If you put the wrong sign out or you forget to take down an old sign, you have to honor that, especially it's a big corporation like i'm sorry ulta can fucking spare an extra five or ten dollars and it's not like i'm pulling something out of my ass like these are signs that you put up in your store and they're there they're still out they were there yesterday and they're still there today so like you're trying to tell me that no one has noticed this whole entire time that you have not one but two incorrect signs and who knows there's probably way more on other products that i just didn't get Anyway, then for groceries, right next to Ulta is a little, little. I always hear people pronounce it little, but I think in the commercial they say little. When I tell you there are so many grocery stores in my town, which I am so not used to, but I had never been to little before, and it was right next to Ulta, so I was like, let me pop in there and see what they have. So. Um, it was very similar to Aldi, like definitely gave me Aldi vibes. They have really great prices and like different brands than what you would see in a traditional grocery store. So I got a big bag of lemons because I have been using that big Stanley cup every single day. I fill it. I've been drinking two of those a day lately and I've been putting lemon in it. I've been going through spinach like crazy lately making green smoothies. So I got a big tub of baby spinach. I also got some asparagus, a big filet of salmon that is already pre-seasoned with green chili cilantro. Sounded pretty good. Oh, and then I got a bottle of kombucha. I love this health aid kombucha, the pomegranate flavor, so good. I used to drink these all of the time. It's super, super carbonated and bubbly, so I feel like if I'm ever craving something bubbly, rather than having soda or like a flavored seltzer or something like that, that is a better option because it's like actually supposed to be good for you. Then on to 
the fun stuff. Like I said, they have so many interesting things that I wanted to try. I tried to not go too crazy though because, I mean, there is just one of me. I live alone. But also, like I said, in a week, I'm going to be gone for Christmas. So I didn't want anything to waste. So I didn't get too, too many things. And most of what I got is frozen stuff. So it'll keep while I'm gone. But they had these chocolate croissants that were buy one, get one free. So I got two of those then i also got this big box of macarons it has chocolate vanilla raspberry pistachio and salted caramel sounds so good um and i thought when my mom comes this weekend she can try some of those i also saw these white chocolate peppermint covered pretzels i couldn't think of the word pretzel for a second there i love white chocolate peppermint like the white chocolate peppermint hershey kisses so good i also got this mozzarella pesto focaccia flatbread this just looked so good i couldn't pass it up and then i got this chana masala and then lastly i got this pepperoni stromboli that's everything i got let's actually i want to try one of these pretzels they're like thin flat pretzels mm-hmm mm, those are good Oh my god. I'm not really a peppermint person typically, but there's something about peppermint with white chocolate. I just. I love it. It's so good. And then let's try one of these. Why not? I need to have some real food for lunch, but we'll do a little taste test. I'm gonna try a pistachio one because I love pistachio. Oh my god, so good, so good. I just love the texture too. I was actually gonna end the vlog there, but then I got a notification that my package got delivered. And I know you guys are always requesting super long vlogs, so here you go. Oh, I'm so excited. So. I had been wanting a super big curling iron, like circumference wise, so that I could curl my hair in a way that mimics a blowout, because I know how to do a blowout on myself, obviously, I'm a hairdresser, but I feel like it just never stays quite as well as when you use a curling iron on your hair. It was completely sold out at Ulta, at Cosmoprof, but I found it on Amazon and it was the same price everywhere. Look at that big daddy. So this is going to be perfect to just give that like swoopy, voluminous kind of look. And then I got a pair of sunglasses. Well, they're kind of retro and they're really lightweight. Cute. But yeah, I have to go to work in a couple of hours, so let's get ready really quick so I can test out the new curling iron and use some of those new makeup products. Okay, so I did a light layer of foundation, under eye concealer, and brow gel. So let's do the butter bronzer. Oh yes, this is the perfect shade. It just like warms up my skin, but in like a really soft, natural way. It's not too intense and I don't have to worry about being too heavy handed. It just smells so good. Next, I didn't get a new blush, so I'm just going to use the same blush that I've been using for a while now. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush. But this will be good since it's matte. I'll really be able to see how the highlighter is by itself, like what glow it adds. Oh my God, that is so pretty. And I'm using a pretty dense, small brush and I'm really like going in there and getting a lot of product. You can make it even softer, like if I were to just use a thin fan brush and tapped off the excess product. Let's do a little shadow. So I'm using the Feeling Bubbly palette and I'm gonna take, there's like this 
chalky brown Blaine Slate. I'm going to put that in the crease. That's a really pretty shade. And then I'm going to put this shimmery shade right next to it called Noted on the lid. Just a little bit. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. So pretty. I got to show you guys over by the window because the lighting in here sucks. Moving on to the hair. I'm going to spray some dry shampoo because my hair is a little oily this is the kenra volume dry shampoo actually while that's heating up I may as well put this lipstick on i'm gonna just wipe it off because i don't feel like wearing this to work tonight it's a little dramatic but just so we can see how it looks and feels oh it glides on so smooth cute okay so for the hair i just split everything down the middle Pulled it all forward, and I'm going to literally just take like big sections at a time. This isn't going to be perfect or look that good because my hair is just so dirty. It feels so gross. Um, I'm honestly probably just going to wear it in a clip tonight. I just wanted to try this out oh my god it's so greasy and gross at the top but there we go I'll share with you guys in a future vlog I'll do this again on clean hair so we can really get the full effect all right let me show you the makeup in natural lighting you can see that highlight oh and the lips feel really comfortable. It looks a little messy. Definitely have to use a lip liner with this. And I feel like it kind of goes on a little uneven. So I wonder if I were to use a lip liner, fill in my lips with that lip liner so that there's something underneath and then put this on top of that, if it would come out a little bit more even. I don't know, whatever. But it's not like this is something I'm going to be wearing on a regular everyday basis but i am going to wrap up this vlog here i'm just going to work tonight and then the rest of the week i'm just going to be working and getting caught up on everything i need to do so that way i am ready for my christmas vacation so excited um i don't know when this vlog is going up if it's going to be right before Christmas or right after but either way I hope that you had a lovely or have a lovely holiday a happy new year I hope that you get a chance to just take a little bit of a break hopefully get some time off whether you're spending it with loved ones or spending it alone um, I hope you can just get that refresh that you need for the new year and I will see you in 2023 I can't believe it so crazy. Bye guys.